ever pondered how crucial it is to utter the right words at the right time? It's a question that might seem simple on the surface, yet it conceals a world of complexity. Words, you see, are more than just sounds or symbols. They're the fundamental building blocks of communication, the tools we use to shape reality. Consider for a moment the power that words hold. They have the ability to evoke emotions, to inspire action, to construct narratives, but they can also be destructive. A single misplaced phrase can shatter relationships, ruin opportunities, or even derail careers. It's like walking a tightrope. One misstep and you're tumbling into the abyss. But it's not just about what you say, it's about when you say it. The timing of your words is equally crucial. A well-timed compliment can light up someone's day, while a poorly timed criticism can ruin it. A late apology might be seen as insincere, while an early confession can save a relationship. Timing is everything. And let's not forget about context. The same words can have drastically different meanings depending on the situation. I love you whispered in a romantic setting is heartfelt and intimate. But in a business meeting it's inappropriate and awkward. Context shapes the meaning of our words, guiding how they're received and interpreted. So, how can we navigate this labyrinth of language? How can we ensure we're always saying the right thing at the right time? It's a delicate dance requiring empathy, intuition, and a keen understanding of human nature. It's about reading the room, gauging the mood, and adapting your message accordingly. In the end, words are like keys. Used correctly, they can unlock doors to understanding, empathy, and connection. Used incorrectly, they can lock those same doors, shutting out opportunities and relationships. Now let's explore some real-life instances where saying the right thing at the right time made all the difference. Picture this, a diplomat at a high-stakes negotiation table. Imagine a room filled with tension where every word carries the weight of nations. This is the diplomat's stage, his battlefield. He's not armed with weapons but with words, and his mission is to navigate the treacherous waters of international relations where one wrong phrase could spark a crisis. Our diplomat is in a delicate situation, with the fate of his country and potentially the world hanging in the balance. The room is thick with anticipation, the air almost electric as the opposing party lays down their demands. They're steep, they're harsh, and they're non-negotiable. But our diplomat is not phased. He's been in this situation before. He, he understands the power of words, the strength in silence, the art of timing. He knows that in this game, patience is not just a virtue, it's a strategy. He waits, letting the tension build, allowing the other party to feel they have the upper hand. Then, with a calm and steady voice, he begins to speak. His words are not aggressive, not defensive, but balanced. He does not attack, he does not capitulate, but he negotiates. He acknowledges their concerns, validates their feelings, but subtly shifts the focus. He paints a picture of mutual benefit, of shared goals, of a future where both parties can prosper. As he speaks, the room starts to change. The tension eases, the atmosphere shifts. His words, carefully chosen and perfectly timed, begin to dismantle the hostility. He's not just speaking, he's weaving a narrative, a story where conflict can be replaced with cooperation. In the end, the opposing party reconsiders their demands. They see the value in compromise, the wisdom in diplomacy, they understand that a win-lose situation can be transformed into a win-win scenario. All because of the right words, spoken at the right time, by the right person. And, just like that, a potential crisis is averted, a disaster dodged. Not with force, not with coercion, but with communication. With the power of words. His strategic choice of words at the right moment averted a potential disaster. Imagine a room, a hopeful candidate, and a panel of stern-faced interviewers. Picture this scenario. The candidate is feeling the pressure, their palms are sweaty, and their heart is beating like a drum. The interviewers with their poker faces on are ready to throw a curveball. The room is silent, save for the soft hum of the air conditioner and the occasional shuffling of papers. The tension is palpable. Then, out of the blue, comes the question that many dread. The one designed to throw the candidate off balance. An interviewer leans forward, locks eyes with the candidate, and asks, If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? It's a question that seems out of place in a job interview. 
a question that tests not only creativity but also the ability to think on one's feet. The candidate pauses, takes a deep breath and then smiles. This is the moment to turn the tide. The candidate replies, I would be an ant. The room goes silent as the interviewers raise an eyebrow, wondering what's coming next. The candidate continues, An ant may be small, but it's one of the most hard-working creatures. Ants are known for their teamwork and perseverance. They carry loads much heavier than themselves and never give up, no matter how tough the journey. These are the qualities I bring to the table. Like an ant, I am hardworking, I thrive in a team, and I'm not afraid to take on challenging tasks. The room bursts into applause. The stern faces of the interviewers break into smiles. The candidate has not only answered the question creatively, but has also subtly highlighted their strengths and values, turning an oddball question into a golden opportunity. This is the power of saying the right thing at the right place at the right time. And that, my friends, is how a seemingly innocuous question can turn into a game changer. It's not just about the words we say, but how and when we say them. With one well-crafted response, the candidate transformed a daunting interview into a victorious moment. Consider a strained relationship filled with misunderstandings and hurt. Let's delve into a tale that will show us the healing power of words. Picture two close friends, let's call them John and Mike. They shared a bond that seemed unbreakable until a misunderstanding drove a wedge between them. Their friendship was on the brink of collapse. Their conversations reduced to awkward silences and forced politeness. In the heart of this tension, John realized the power he held in his words. He knew that words could either deepen the rift or mend their broken friendship. It was a delicate situation, and the wrong words could potentially pour salt on their emotional wounds. But he also knew that silence was just as harmful. John decided to take a step forward. He chose to express what he felt, to clear the air, and hopefully to heal the wounds. He waited for the right moment when they were alone, away from the noise of the world. He began with a simple, Mike, we need to talk. He didn't accuse or defend. He merely expressed his feelings of hurt and misunderstanding and how much he valued their friendship. His words were sincere and heartfelt, and he chose them carefully, making sure they conveyed his emotions accurately. Mike listened, not interrupting or reacting defensively. He listened to John's words, not just with his ears, but with his heart. He felt John's sincerity and his longing to mend their friendship. Mike, too, felt the same. The power of John's words expressed at the right time began to heal their strained relationship. The misunderstanding started to fade, replaced by a newfound understanding and respect for each other. Their bond began to rebuild, not as it was before, but stronger and more resilient. In this tale, we see the transformative power of words. Words, when chosen wisely and expressed sincerely, can heal emotional wounds and rebuild broken relationships. They can bridge gaps, mend hearts, and bring people together. A single heartfelt sentence expressed at the right time was all it took to bridge the chasm of misunderstandings. From averting international conflicts to acing job interviews to mending broken relationships, the right words at the right time can indeed change the course of our lives. The power of words is immense, a power that shapes not only our personal world but also the world at large. Let's take a step back and revisit the stories we've woven today. We started with the diplomat who, through his tactful choice of words, turned a potentially explosive situation into a peaceful resolution. His story is a testament to how words can be a tool for peace when used judiciously. Then we moved on to a job interview scenario where the candidate's well-placed response turned the tables in his favor. It's a reminder that the right words at the right time can open doors of opportunities. Words can indeed be a key, unlocking potential, opening doors and turning the tide in our favor. And finally, we looked at a personal relationship healed by a simple phrase uttered at the perfect moment. It's a poignant reminder that words have the power to mend what's broken, to heal, and to bring people closer. As we journey through life, we find ourselves in various roles. A friend, a colleague, a leader, a peacemaker. In each of these roles, our words hold power. Power to build, to heal, to inspire, or to destroy. The choice is ours. The stories we've shared today are not just stories. They are lessons, life lessons, that underline the importance of saying the right thing at the right time. 
They are reminders that our words are not just mere sounds or written symbols. They are carriers of our thoughts, our emotions, our intentions. So, as we wrap up, let's pledge to be more mindful of the words we choose and the timing of those words. Let's strive to use our words to uplift, to inspire, to heal, and to bring about positive change. So next time you find yourself searching for words, remember the right words at the right time could just be your game changer.